right, everyone. Welcome back into another new episode in the Interloper series here in the Long Dark. So we are picking up right where we left off at the end of the last one. Um, well, not quite right at the the same spot. So in the end of the last one, we got here into the dam, and uh, I realized I had never searched kind of the upper office area of the dam. And uh, so I went ahead and searched that all off camera. I did not find anything. Um, I'm kind of thinking that if there was any loot, that it probably uh, degraded to the point where it just wasn't there anymore. So uh, that's kind of concerning, considering we're headed for Timberwolf for that same reason, is to you know get any loot that could potentially be there so i'm a little worried we probably waited a bit too long so we'll see we're still going to go through uh and and get to to timberwolf but uh, like i said i'm a little concerned that uh we might not find a whole lot there so we'll see what happens but uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna keep on the course here so let's uh get through the dam and then push into pleasant valley I was a little disheartened as I started searching things because I know that that's probably a good indicator of what's, you know, what's to come once we get into Timberwolf. Um, yeah, I searched pretty much everything else. And so, like usual, everyone, I appreciate you tuning into the episode today. Um, we are hopefully going to get as close as possible to Timberwolf today. Um, obviously, things can get a little sideways once we get over towards uh, Pleasant Valley, but uh, we'll see what happens. So, um, yeah, thanks for being here. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you uh, have not subscribed to the channel yet, um, I'd invite you to go ahead and do so. If The Long Dark is one of your favorite games, um, I put out you know multiple videos uh, in the game uh, multiple times a week, so um, definitely uh, feel like that would be a good match. So, yeah, let's see where this wolf is. I heard him take down a rabbit as I was uh, blabbermouthing there for a minute. So, okay, he's right there, but hopefully we can get by him without him. He, uh, hopefully he'll be distracted by his uh, his meal there and not, uh, not bother us. It looks like we should be... I could take him down, you know. In fact, this will be an easy shot, so let's just do it. Um, you know, that way we don't have to worry about him, even when we come back here. And we can maybe stop and grab these cattails because of that. Um, you know, I could get the meat and stuff from his carcass, but, like, I left. I left two dead wolves and a dead deer back in Mystery Lake, so it would seem kind of silly to do that. So, we're just going to leave him be. Uh, you know, chances are he may still be there when we come back through if we come back through this direction so um plus i think the respawn time for him to respawn uh is longer if we don't harvest him so we'll just leave him leave him be My fingers feel numb. yeah it did get kind of cold on us fast but we got a pretty decent day uh traveling from mystery lake uh the camp office over to the dam so it's hard to Hard to complain too much. Condition's not great, but we'll make do. We lost a lot, obviously, in that last episode, so... That's just kind of the name of the game, honestly, traveling at this point. We could stop up here. In fact, maybe let's do that um, and recharge. Uh, get some warmth in us up in this cave. Except, you know what? Let's not. <laughs> Let's go this way, because uh, isn't there... I'm trying to remember now. Uh, yeah, we're about to go through another cave, so we might as well just wait for that uh, cave instead of waiting here, basically. Um, I think it's this way. Am I going the right way, guys? Should find out pretty soon. Yeah, I think we are. Um... Maybe... No, we're going the wrong way. Yeah, we're going... Are we going the... Guys, it's been a long day. Um, we've got uh, various like home improvement projects going on here. And so... Uh, 
I'm, I'm pretty tired, if I'm being honest. <laughs> so uh, expect to see me falter a little bit in this episode. I'm not not quite in my best uh, best way right now. But I think we're going the right way. Um, if we weren't going the right way, we would have you know, stopped already or been stopped already by uh, a dead end or something along those lines. So, yeah, there's our cave. Let's go that away. That should be where we need to go. You know, I've made this trip a million times, but uh, just a little bit turned around right now. Hopefully we can get pretty warm in here. So far it's pretty light in here too. We should be able to make it for a while without the lantern, so we'll do that. Try and save some fuel. So just a Karen in the... Yeah, it's just in a weird shadow. Yeah, we're warming up pretty nicely now. Should be ready to go by the time we hit the other side. Uh, I could hit the Rishi T too, I'm carrying. Okay, we might have to fire up the lantern now because I'm kind of running blind at this point. So let's do that. Yeah, I'm a little worried about the loot uh, in Timberwolf, but what, do you, what can you do? Um, you know, part of that, I may kind of blame on we got stuck in Pleasant Valley for like a month <laughs> So that was that was a lot of time um, That you know was kind of wasted in terms of this trip to the summit unfortunately So yeah, it kind of is what it is there. Where am I? Yeah Gosh dang it <laughs> uh, There's just not much we can do about it honestly at this point we gotta just hope maybe there'll be something up there for us useful. But I don't know. Plus it's kind of like a rite of passage to summit uh, an interloper, I feel like, for any good run. So let's, uh, while we're here, and I should have been looking for this, drop any of this gear. the whole way through, but that's okay. Pick up a couple pieces of coal there. We're at 69 pounds. So we're a little bit over, but not not bad by any stretch of imagination. Okay. You think like I'd I'd have these caves down. Um, in some ways I do, but in a lot of ways I don't. Like from memory. <laughs> All right. Let's kill the lantern, and so I'm trying to think where we're going to come out. We're going to come out, um, so we'll have to hit the radio tower kind of first. There's going to be some wolves out here that we need to be careful of. Am I stinky? I'm trying to remember what we brought for us for food. So we do have some meat on us, but I don't think it's enough to really get too much attention. So we should be able to shoot out of here and head for uh, the signal tower. And we'll kind of recoup there. Uh, for a little while. We need to be careful though because sometimes there's a bear down here and then of course there's there's wolves kind of all over this uh, hill over here so we just need to be a little cautious coming through here. Um, God, you know one thing I didn't see? Um, okay, never mind. I, I'm realizing. So I was thinking that I left the bear pelt that we do have cured and ready in uh, the dam but I think I actually left it in one of the trailers across from the dam. I was like, oh no, where 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 is that? I've lost it or it's disappeared or something, but I'm pretty sure it's in the trailer. So, yeah, it'd be nice to get another bear pelt. I'd kind of flirted with the idea of, of taking the one out in Mystery Lake before we left, but um, at the end of the day, I just kind of decided that that, like, that would just be too wasteful with the meat. Um, like I was thinking, we'd kill it, skin it, get the pelt curing while we make this trip to Timberwolf and that way when we came back it would be done but that would just be they'd just be completely wasteful um, to do it that way so decided not to do that alright let's be cautious here I have taken shelter in that uh, 
hunting blind several times from the wolves out here. There's a cave. We could stop in there and warm up, but we really don't have that much further to go to uh, get to the signal tower. I'm trying to decide what's the best route. Uh, I don't know. Should just be kind of diagonal, so like around these these rocks here and, and kind of off to the left a little bit. It's kind of a bad bad weather day. Can't see very far out. Okay, there's a wolf, kind of dead center of the screen. It's a ways away, but we are carrying some meat. Freezing. Um, yeah, so I think we actually almost need to go right towards him, don't we? I'm so turned around. You ever just have one of those days where, you know, you log on or whatever, or, I mean, it doesn't even have to be a game, like, you do something you've done a million times and just, like, <laughs> I don't know, you feel uh, a little rattled. That's kind of how I'm feeling today. It, uh, it's about, what, eight, it's almost nine o'clock. Uh, at night here as I record this and this episode will drop tomorrow so like I'm just I'm just tired guys <laughs> it's, it's been a day um, yeah I feel like it's still right in front of us but uh, we can't see it because of the fog okay he just killed a rabbit over there I heard so we should be okay to press on yeah I think this road pretty much takes us right up to it so just follow the the snow road here and we'll get warm and then we'll push down and we should be able to make it to the farmstead uh, I would think yeah it's still only midday so as long as we get there and get warmed up we should at least be able to make farmstead um, and then maybe we'll recoup for a day or night there and then leave there uh, leave there and head towards the uh, climb climbing point for uh, Timberwolf which is like basically like exactly across diagonally from the uh, exit to from Mystery Lake from Winding River. All things considered, this went really well. <laughs> We're cold, but I mean, you can't really escape that. We have two wolf pelt coats on and uh, I think we have some decent pants. We have at least one deerskin pant um, and we're still cold, so there's just really not any getting away from it, honestly. All right, let's jump in here and warm up for a bit. And then we'll head out. Okay. I don't think we really left any food um, at the farmstead, unfortunately. Like, it would be nice if we could count on, like, having an extra meal or something there. I, we should probably have some water. I'm usually pretty good at least at leaving at least, like... Uh, you know, a bottle or two of water. Um, yeah, if I remember right, that was ruined. You might be able to bring that back. I don't, I don't know. How close are we to, we're still pretty far from level five cooking. It doesn't look like very far, like it's just half of level four, but that's, that's a lot of cooking that we would need to do. Archery is almost a four. Just wanted to get warm in a, in a hurry. So, uh, do we hit the Rishi T or not? I say no because we don't have that much further to go and we're really not doing bad at all. So, let's just roll out. That trip through um, the other half of Pleasant Valley and uh, around to the Mountaineer's Hut once we get into Timberwolf is going to be. A bit more challenging I think so we'll try and save the tea for for that instead I think is what I want to do so let's keep our eyes peeled here we should be able to pretty much just come right down this hill and be relatively safe and um, of course you never know I think we're good. I think we're good on all sides here. We really shouldn't be contested too much to get there, I don't think. Let's 
just the cold we're really fighting. Should be able to skip the rope there and go down a little farther and just get down. Uh, I did. I do see it warmed up a little bit too. That's nice. We'll probably make it, as long as it stays this temperature, we'll probably make it without having to really worry about getting too cold. So, yeah, I am all kinds of turned around. I was like looking for the stream. Um, is that a bear? No, it's a stump. It's always a stump. Every single time it's a stump. Um, I was looking for the stream that like I would take if I was coming down from Skeeter's Ridge. So basically the exact opposite direction. It's like looking for that. Um, but now I'm, <laughs> now I'm remembering where I am. So we should come across the road here in just a second. That's out front of the farmstead, but we'll still make it to the, uh, the farmstead just fine. I still think eh, it'd be close on if we make it before we get cold or not. And there really shouldn't be any threat of wolves. There's, of course, always wolves out front, kind of over to the side of the farmstead. But as long as we hang far enough to the right, far enough to the right, we should be okay. Now yeah, we're gonna get cold, but that's okay. We'll probably, mm, I don't know, I'm trying to decide if we're gonna hang out. Probably. Um, I'm trying to think. So the climb to Timberwolf, um, yeah, because we'll need energy to get up the rope and everything. So I think it's probably best that we probably stay here at night and then try and, uh, I don't know, is there anywhere else we could leapfrog? I'm trying to think. We could go to Draft Dodgers, but that's really not that much farther. Um, all right, let's keep an eye out for wolves. Okay, just a deer here. Is the bear? Yep, there's the bear. Um, that's always something to think about too, like when we could maybe try and get that bear here while we're here, but it's just a question on if it's worth it or not. But first and foremost, we got to get to the farmstead, which we'll do just fine. Maybe we'll warm up here for a little bit and see uh, if I left any goodies and then we'll continue on to draft dodgers because it's not far we should be able to get there easily before nightfall because it's still just right after midday just hop in the stream and that stream that's behind that hill over there takes you like right to it so we just need to warm up oh yeah the snow shelter the uh, reminder of unfortunate times all right, let's go inside. All right, what do we got? What kind of shape is this one in? 80%? What's the condition of the one I brought? 100%. I don't know if I planned that or not. <laughs> um, did I bring tools? No, I didn't. But I have some tools here. I'm just... The concern is that, like... I don't want to take the hacksaw and have the hacksaw go bad while we're up there, but I think we'll be okay with 100%. Okay, we got two pots. Oh yeah, I left tons of water here. So we'll crack one of those bad boys open, but I don't think I left any food, and if I did, it would probably be outside. Just having a look around. Um, I'm not going to go outside and look for the food just yet because I want to warm up. Then we'll roll out of here, but yeah, so there really shouldn't be anything else here. Did I leave anything in this guy? Yeah, a bunch of clothing that's gone bad. Let's do this. Let's take those stuff, all the stuff that's ruined, and uh, harvest it. Get the cloth, and obviously this will be leather, but we'll warm up doing that, and... Uh, we're making some use of the time and getting some resources out of it, so win-win. Alright, so we're warm, so let's go ahead and push. 
Um, I do want to go out this door, though, because I want to see if there's any food out here. I really kind of doubt it, but... Oh, no, there is some, but it's probably... Yeah, that's no good. What kind of shape is this in? Rancid? 12%, man, we would be pushing it. Ruined, ruined, ruined. Um, yeah, it's just been too long since we were here, um, so it's all gone bad. And, and I think some of that bear was bad probably before we left. Um, I was just like, you know, um, if there was a chance to score an extra meal there. And I, I was pretty confident I left some behind just for like weight reasons, but obviously it's just been too long since we've been here. It's gone bad, so... It is what it is. We've still got the two pieces we brought with us. Plus, we may be able to find another cat tail or two down here in the stream. So, um, we should still have food for at least a couple days. If we find a couple more cat tails, then we are got food for three days, really. So, we'll see what happens here. But, yeah. So, uh, I think we're going to make... We'll make draft dodgers fine. And then, hopefully, get a good night of recovery. And uh, Draft Dodgers is really not all that far at all from the rope climb. So that'll probably be our kind of our launching point um, for that trek up the rope. And, and I guess now that I think about it, um, we are going to have to climb. So I need to check out my weight. Um, once I eat, yeah, we're at 71 of 66. So once I eat and uh, maybe drink some water, that'll take out a good chunk of that. Uh, five pounds that we need to drop. I mean, the hun hunks of meat are like two and a half pounds almost each. So if I eat one, that automatically gets us down to two pounds, and then I can either take the rest out in water or um, leave some water behind instead of drinking it. But we'll see what happens. We shall see what happens, guys. I mean, this has been a super easy trip. It's just the condition, really, like the cold. I'm losing all of our condition as we uh, make this trip. Um, one thing I kind of, I guess, toyed with when I left here and I got some comments on some of the episodes of when we were up at the plane crashes, I did not remember to search the overhead bins on the plane. And I thought, you know, maybe when we make the trip to Timberwolf, we'll swing through there. It's just kind of a quick in and out, but I don't know if we'll end up doing that or not. I guess, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. Chances are I'll spend the time to go do it and we won't find anything anyway. So it's like, you know, do we risk, risk ourselves? Do we open ourselves up to that risk and then not find anything? Um, and potentially, you know, lose the run or do something crazy like that. All right, so we should not be too far here. It's still just kind of mid-afternoon. I don't know if... I, there's probably some cattails over there. But maybe we'll get here and we'll go inside Draft Dodgers and warm up for a few minutes. And then we'll come back out and find some cattails or something along those lines. In fact, I think I see something right up here. And Draft Dodger should be either around this corner or the next one. But yeah, there's a, a chunk of them right here, so we'll grab them all. Has anyone, uh, let me know in the comments, has anyone like tried living at Draft Dodgers, like long term? I have not. <laughs> I, you guys know my feelings on Pleasant Valley. The less time I have to spend here, the better. Um, so no, I have not done that. But I've always, I always kind of like that idea of the smaller cabins, like out of the way, um, kind of adding a challenge to things. Um, so it should be right through these trees, right? Oh no, it's right there. We almost missed it. Okay, so then I think we should just need to go down that way a little bit and kind of up and to the left, and that should get us to the climb for, for Timberwolf. But let's get in here for now and call it a day, warm up and get our condition going back up. And then we'll uh, hopefully be in good shape to, okay, what's going on here? Okay, that's ruined. That's ruined. Okay, so that was probably something that 
I eat like, let's just pick those up and get rid of them. I don't know why I dropped, dropped them there. Um, I probably used the tackle for, can you actually, I don't think you can, but let's just check before I, yeah, you can't harvest that. I was like, can I get my hook back or something? Uh, transfer and where's the whetstone? I probably did some repairing and uh, sharpening here in one episode. There it is. All right, let's harvest that t-shirt too while I'm thinking about it. Or you guys know me, I will end up carrying it around <laughs> for a while. So okay, um, yeah, not too bad, guys. It's been pretty pretty easy trip so far. Are there any birch trees around? Some more reishi tea would be, or uh, I'm sorry, birch bark tea would be nice. But I don't see any birch trees through here. Um, I was going to go down to the water and see about any more cattails. Obviously, we found kind of the number I was looking for already. But, I mean, if there's more down here, then, you know, it only helps us. But we didn't get really super warm or anything, so it's not like we got an unlimited amount of time down here. But let's just take a quick look. Okay, that's where we hit a second ago. And without going too far away, um, it's kind of hard to tell. Okay, anyway, so we'll, we'll call it here, and we'll, we'll stay here for the night and uh, try and recover a bit and then roll out and head for uh, the climb point hopefully in the morning or maybe in a we should be fine to go in the morning um we should be in, in plenty good shape okay well let's go ahead and call this an episode here guys um i think we made a lot of progress in this one i'm excited to hopefully that next episode will be us getting into the timberwolf region and then um i mean we're not going to be able to get in and summit in the same day so uh We'll probably spend some time there and just survive a little while at Mountaineer's Hut, and uh, then we'll make that that climb up. So um, we may go to Ash Canyon afterwards as well. Who knows? So um, we'll see what happens. Life. But uh, yeah, I, I appreciate you all tuning in today. Um, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you've not done so already. Uh, do me a favor and like the video. And of course, guys, throw those comments at me as well. I appreciate all of that interaction you guys uh, send my way. So uh, please, if you got anything, anything at all, just, uh, just throw it at me. But uh, yeah, guys, I will catch you all in the next episode.